Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot. It is September 10th. I guess we could say it's also the day that John Bolton got fired. That's kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at, at, you know, Pompeo and Mnuchin, because I saw the two of them um, do a, a some sort of a, a press event, um, basically getting snippy because people were asking about Bolton. So we're going to take a little look at that. And, um, <laughs> and once again, not surprisingly, um, Trump's poll numbers are tanking big. I mean, he went from 44% popularity in July to 38%. That's a huge drop. Um, so yeah, so let's just take a look at that and see what the heck's going on in Washington today. All right, come on down. Let's see what we see. Okay, let's start with um, Bolton, Trump, national security. Bolton, Trump, national security. Bolton, Trump, national security. <laughs> okay. So, the little story these cards are telling is Trump literally views firing John Bolton as a win. He really does. He thinks it makes him look strong and decisive, and he thinks it makes him um, appear as if he knows what he wants and the direction he's going in. And when people are not in alignment with the direction he wants to go in, he is affirmative and he is strong and he can replace them with somebody else. That's his story. He's sticking to it. And the timing of this, again, is very interesting because you have all kinds of news coming out that is really upsetting people. You have the whole Scotland airport military fiasco. You've got, for the love of God, this man is not letting people from the Bahamas seek temporary refuge in Florida without a pile of paperwork that, of course, does not exist because, uh, hello, Dorian kind of blew everything away. Um, you have really bad poll numbers and um, part of the reason his poll numbers are tanking is because people are becoming more and more concerned about a recession. So, he again is trying to throw big things out there to change the topic, to shift what people are focused on and talking about and as usual... Um, he doesn't recognize and realize that the entire world is watching him. The entire world is passing judgment on him. And he's not coming out ahead in this little scenario. He just simply refuses to see it or acknowledge it. Okay. All right. So, a um, couple of things. One... John Bolton had about hit the end of his rope. Um, I'm not American. I said that often enough. I don't really know a lot about John Bolton, but I do know that what I've heard about him, I don't exactly like about him. I mean, this is somebody whose, you know, first response to everything is let's go to war. You know, let's beat the crap out of them because we can be bullies and we can make everyone comply. Well, guess what? It just actually doesn't work that way. So he had kind of come to a place where his frustration was really, really starting to show. And of course, nothing sets Trump off like feeling like people are not being loyal and beholden to him. And so Bolton started to push back or push against what it was that Trump wanted. And, uh, well, 
Bye bye, Bolton. Now, Bolton was not wrong, okay? Bolton did not want the Taliban coming into the United States, particularly right around the time of the somber anniversary of September 11th. Trump will do anything, will say anything, will powwow with anybody for a photo op. He didn't care. He did not care about the ramifications. He wanted there to be a picture of, of him holding this historic meeting because he thought it would look good for him in the, in the history books because honestly, um, you know, to him, it's all about image. It's all about, you know, what is being said, what is being written. So he doesn't understand and he did not understand the implications of what he was saying or doing or wanting. He didn't care. It was all about, you know, my picture in the sun. And and there was pushback against that and, and he didn't appreciate the pushback. So, um, he is desperately, desperately looking to change the subject. There is so much bad stuff coming up um, or coming out. And, and he's just trying to find something that will grab people's attention so that he can get um, the focus off of where the focus is. I have to put you on pause. I will be right back. Hello. Um, okay, so he is desperate to change the topic. There is pushback about that. Um, oh, what the hell has Ross William? No, the Secretary of Commerce. I can see his little shriveled up face with those little glasses. Wilbur Ross. Um, there's pushback because he's saying, of course, he didn't threaten to fire anybody at Noah. Well, of course you did, you fool. Everybody can see that. Everybody realizes that they're speaking the truth. There's now people freaking out because the military has been forced to comply with the story Trump is telling as opposed to the truth. Again, I'm repeating myself. There are the bad poll numbers. There is, you know, the whole fiasco with the Taliban peace meeting thing, which is just beyond ridiculous. Um, and let's not forget the Twitter wars he's getting into with, uh, what is it, John Lennon, Len Legend and his wife. Okay, so there is all kinds of crazy going on and he is doing everything in his power to try to shift the conversation and you know what? It's not helping, it's not going to work and he is in that position where he is perpetually needing to defend himself. All right. So there is going to be There, okay, there is going to be something that goes on um, amid all of the chaos, amid all of the craziness that actually is going to look like a little bit of a win for Trump. I don't know if his poll numbers are going to go up. I don't know if the economy gets a little bit of a bump. I don't know... Um, I don't know, whatever kind of information comes out that people tend to react to, perhaps the stock market might, you know, start recovering and kind of stay recovering. I'm not sure, but it's coming probably in the next, I want to say two or three weeks, but it's only going to change people's mind momentarily. Okay. There is just not going to be a groundswell of support. 
but don't be like wigged out when in a couple of weeks the news actually starts to get a wee little bit better for Trump. And part of the reason it's going to look a little better is because the news this month could not be more disastrous for the guy. So anything that doesn't look like a bloody bomb not going off looks good. I mean, talk about how low has that bar been set. But that is coming. There's definitely some sort of good news coming for Trump. It is, it has no long, yeah, it has no longevity. It's not going to last. It's not going to take him into better waters because again, there's always more news coming out. There's more bad stuff being released and talked about. And as I believe it was yesterday that I said, um, the bad news is just going to start spiraling out. It's not going to stop. It's going to be continual. And so, um, you know, he's going to get this little bump and then that's going to flatten out and he's going to drop even further than he is right now. And at 38% approval, um, it's hard to imagine that he could drop more. But I'm telling you, I would not be surprised if by the end of September, the middle of October, we are not sitting at 32, 34% approval. There's going to be another significant downturn in his approval rating coming, you know, four to six months, weeks from now. So there's that. The illusions continue to grow. The stories continue to become more and more far-fetched. The news continues to rattle him and send him off in, you know, like fiery spins and, and charging ahead and not thinking and not listening and not even caring. He just is going to become desperate to continue to live in his world of illusions and of delusions because frankly, that is his, it's his safe zone at this point. Um, he can't face reality anymore. It is too distressing for him. Honestly, he kind of doesn't understand it. And um, it's just for him, it's just all about image. And the more those numbers tank, the, the more erratic he is going to become because his ego is not being fed the way he wants his ego to be fed. And so look out world, troubles are coming. Yeah. Anxiety, worry, he's going to be stressed out. You know, look for more um, middle of the night um, rants um, on Twitter um, because he's not sleeping well. He's confused. He's, he's getting to a place now where he's actually starting to be uh, like confused by a lot of stuff. And um, it's almost like the more he tries to focus and concentrate on it, the, literally the more it actually physically makes his head hurt. Now, I have gotten a lot of viewers saying, you know, he's he's this, this is his psychological disorder. Nope, it's dementia. Nope. The, my favorite one was ju just said, you know, actually that's not what it is. He's just an absolute asshole. I honestly, that was the one that made me laugh the funniest. I don't know who you are that said it, but you know who you are. You gave me a really good chuckle. Okay, so this is the thing. I cannot and will not try to put a label on what is or is not going on with him, um, in part because I'm certainly not qualified to do it, and in part because the energies that come with a reading are kind of rarely that definitive. You know, they're, they're not going to give me chapter and verse. Um, so, but there's definitely some confusion going on. Although, honestly, I, I can't tell you if it has to do with an increased amount of substances and lack of sleep and improper nutrition or if it's something else but i have spoken before that i see issues with the head headaches uh, possibly a stroke an aneurysm i do not know but i definitely said see the head becoming more and more of a concern and of course it is possible that it may not be something like physical like a stroke and it might be something that is physically imbalanced uh like a you know um some sort of a mental imbalance or a mental issue or concern psychological so i'm not sure exactly what the head issue is about but it's definitely coming yeah Here's one of my cards for Trump. 
there's going to be more information that comes out or additional information that comes out um, about um, relationships that he has that probably he should not have. Business relationships, personal relationships, I don't know, but stuff's coming out. And the truth is, again, going to set him into a frenzy. So um, I have not heard yet how Mike... Flynn's Michael Flynn's day in court went today I don't know what happened there um, but I'm just going to pull out a couple cards and see if I can get just a little bit of a sense of what's going on there and then I really quickly if I have time I want to take a bit of a look at um, Pompeo and Mnuchin because I you know I don't know I don't get good energy when I when I watch them today I mean not okay honestly that I ever get good energy from them but um, I just want to see if there's sort of something more going on behind the scenes than it appears that is going on now. Now, from what I understand, um, with the removal of Bolton, he now has a national security team that is sort of more like in alliance with each other. They all kind of think the same crazy thoughts together. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And frankly, I, you know, it's almost more scary to try to figure out who on earth he's going to bring forward next time. I mean, really, like really, you know, you think it can't get any worse and he always surprises us. He always outdoes himself. He always comes up with somebody who is more of a horror story than the person before. Okay. So where was I going? Oh, Mike Flynn. Okay, let's take a quick, quick look on him. Michael Flynn, Michael Flynn, Michael Flynn. Okay. So, I don't remember when it was, but a little while ago, he basically said, um, you know, everything I said before, I no longer agree to that. So, he's no longer being a cooperating witness. He has pulled back. It, he appears to almost like not care about uh, the ramifications of those kinds of actions. It's as if he's decided that his lawyers were not working in his best interests. And of course, these, these lawyers who are, you know, Trump supporters and advocates are going to do kind of better for him. Um, there, ha that has created a lot of friction, um, especially within his personal life. Um, I, I don't know if it's the wife or, or his children or, you know, other family members, but they're not exactly supportive of this road he has taken. It is as if he has dug his feet in and is refusing to budge. He's, he's not, um, I almost want to say, you know, he's not really thinking clearly or rationally. He also is kind of in this space where he thinks that he will be rewarded by Trump for, hold, you know, holding the line. Um, he sees that this is the most beneficial way for him to go, except his vision is kind of skewed, right? He's not looking right. He's not looking at reality. He thinks it's going to take him out of the trouble he's in, and he is not going to get out of that trouble. Um, yeah, he's in trouble, okay? Um, the judge that is hearing this case is not impressed. It's not impressed with him. And when he decided to have this change of heart, he forgot that this was the very the very judge who wanted to know if he could actually be charged with treason. Um, so, you know, changing his mind and, and doing this little tap dance is not exactly going to win favor. Yeah, it, it's not good for him. It's just not good. He's going to hear things that he doesn't like. 
He's going to get angry. He's going to be lashing out. Now, I imagine most of that is going to be uh, privately. He's going to go into a very defensive, angry mode, which honestly is not going to serve him because it really is. The more that comes out, it really, he looks like a mercenary, okay? He looks like somebody who will fight any war, take whatever has to be taken. He doesn't care of the ramifications of it. He doesn't care of how it looks or what people think. He needs to do what he wants to do for himself. Nobody else matters, or okay, him and his family. Um, and nothing else matters. His country does not matter to him. And that is not going to exactly serve him very well. Okay, so I don't know what happened today. Uh, I will be curious to find out what happened today. But from what I can see, it didn't go so well. And it's probably not going to go so well for him uh, moving forward. Okay, let's do a quick look on uh, Mnuchin and Pompeo. I have to tell you, when I saw them in that press conference today, um, or whatever that thing was, um, the, the impression that I got energetically was that, you know, they think that they're in a really good, secure place because they believe that they are, um, you know, saying everything that Trump wants them to say. But I honestly didn't get a feeling that either one of them were particularly secure. Um, it felt to me kind of like they might actually, in their own way, be on some sort of thin ice there. All right. So let's take, we're going to do a joint. So let's look at um, Mnuchin and Pompeo, Mnuchin and Pompeo, Mnuchin and Pompeo. Okay, so this is this is the dynamic that's going on, all right? They believe that they are safe because they are holding Trump's secrets. They are uh, protecting him. They are twisting words and, and, you know, and in some ways they don't even twist words as much as they just sarcastically and belligerently say things like, well, that's the stupidest question I've ever heard. And he's already explained how he feels about that. And we're just not going to bother repeating it, people. They, they kind of take that kind of aggressive, you know, you're beneath my contempt attitude and they really believe that they can turn away from the law they really believe that they can turn their face away from that which is right and and just and proper because they are who they are and they believe that trump has their backs now more fool them for thinking that the two of them have they not been paying attention to what has been going on Apparently not, because they're not seeming to understand the concept of the very second, you know, Trump finds displeasure with you, you're done. For whatever reason, I don't know, maybe they just have a blind spot. Maybe it's because they're really, really busy trying to satisfy their own personal agendas. Um, Mnuchin, money with him is everything. It is the God he worships. And there is no other, literally, God for this man. And as far as Pompeo goes, he, you know, it's kind of weird because Pompeo's energy, um, when I look at it, you know, aside from the evil and that doesn't know what he's doing and is kind of all of that. But but you, I really get the energy from him that he's like... Um, He's like the Chihuahua that wants to play with the German Shepherds, okay? He's like, um, he wants to play with the big guys. He wants to be seen as the big guy. But the reality is, is that no matter what title or position he is given, he's actually not treated that way behind the scenes. Um, 
he's he's sort of not getting his due as he believes he would like to have it and so it's a really interesting dynamic that goes on there because he seems sort of in some ways almost more willing than others and they're all doormats so they're all really willing but a little bit more willing to sort of um just absolutely cater to whatever it is trump says thinks wants or desires now unfortunately in very short order things are going to start coming out things are going to start changing very swiftly there are going to be um you know i don't know if it's going to be stories or it's going to literally be events that put them and by extension trump in a bad light and look at here here comes the tower ready to bring them down so i can't get any more clarity on this in terms of like timing but i can tell you it's it's you know it pertains around possessions money um you know things that are compromised that situations that are corrupt and them not be able they're not being able to withstand the truth and the law and that little um rickety soapbox that they stand on is literally going to come crashing down i'm not sure what's happening there but they are going to be put to a stop there's going to be some evaluation going on they may be pushing back against the wrong thing the geo may gop may be deciding you know what they're like really pushing it this could be fighting back against um you know the investigations that going that are going on against subpoenas against requests for um hearings and testimony but whatever it is they are on much much shakier ground than they would like to believe they are so i'm not quite sure how that's going to manifest but it ain't going to be good okay secrets are going to come out things are not going to be what they seemed or what they wanted people to believe and and they're in for a bit of a mm, it's not going to be good okay so there we have that so that's a quick look at bolton uh michael flynn um uh, mnuchin pompeo and of course <clears throat> the um you know the ever changing attitudes of trump which are exactly the same as they were the day before and the day before that and a decade ago and two decades ago because he hadn't changed all that's happening is there a significant deterioration going on with the guy and you know that's what we're looking at now all right um so i just want to make one little just point i'm not defending myself and honestly i'm not apologizing either um the way i receive information and messages is very often like by pictures or an absolute sense of something so and i regular viewers of this channel have heard me say this about a hundred times oh i can see their face i just what the heck is that name again that's how i receive the information so if i mix up if i mix up names or titles or you know um my, my the one i seem to do most often is the state attorney general from new york i get that cross-threaded with the um southern district of new york please understand it's just the way i receive my information and in my world energetically as long as i'm passing along the 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 story the meat of the story the details kind of sometimes just don't you know they're just slightly fuzzy um so you're going to hear me make mistakes you're going to hear me put wrong names to people and wrong titles i apologize for that if it makes you crazy but that is the information coming in and it comes flooding in so i'm trying to get it out to you in a reasonable intelligent way as quickly and efficiently as i can so just there's that because i you know i just want you to understand that i'm aware that i make these mistakes and i'm human so i make them but more importantly there is some reasoning behind why that happens all right so for now until next time thank you so much 
um, for the new subscribers who have come on board. Of course, thank you to my old subscribers and my, my amazing viewers. I have been receiving some really lovely just private donations and they just touch my heart. It is just so meaningful to me and so special when somebody just sends me a small donation as, as a thank you. It's, it's brilliant and I thank you. Okay, until next time, take care, be well, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.